give up this movie. Okay, I'm sorry. We're going to be reviewing Kiss, Kiss Me in the United States, Kiss Me in Sweden. And the original title of the film is was with, with Every Heartbeat. This is a Swedish film, so the whole film is told basically through subtitles. But that's okay because you get you get the legit of what's going on. So the story tells it tells the story of Mia, an architect, and her business partner Tim, who are now engaged to be married, and at the engagement party thrown for both them and her estranged father, who is also getting married, she meets um, Frida, the daughter of her father's fiance. Okay, so. Frida is, of course, bisexual, of course, and um, Mia, at one point, is not, okay? I'll get to that. But when they basically meet each other and they just, at short glance, it's like a, just a regular attraction, they, M Frida kind of falls for her, of course, and Mia kind of does as well, Okay. And sparks fly, and they have immediate attraction. Now, the film basically tells the story of from three different angles. You got Mia and her boyfriend's, her fiance's relationship. You have Mia, I mean, I mean, Fria, Frida, and her uh, girlfriend's relationship. And then you have um, her father, Les, Lesie, Lesie, or L Lassie, or whatever. I call him Lassie, even though it's spelled A, I mean L A S S E. And his uh, fiance Elizabeth. Uh, basically, this film is just so much better than the guest house. And I love the guest house as well, but this one just did it. The acting was great, even though you couldn't understand a word of what they were saying, it was just well acted. I'm not sure if this had a theatrical run in Sweden or not, but it was great, okay? And it's more mature. Not that the the sex is more mature. I mean, the the women are more mature and the guest house the characters was like eight, the 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 blonde girl was 18, the other one was probably like 20 something. And here they're in their early 30s. So somewhat so they are a little bit older, but you know what? You care for them as much as you would those girls, okay? Because the character development is really strong in this one, too. And it doesn't take them that long to have that very first time together, you know what I'm saying? It takes no more than 30, 40 minutes at the most, because the movie is a little bit longer than The Guest House. And it's funny, this film actually referenced A Guest House. When they was talking about, oh, yeah, they can, they, there's... Elizabeth tells me that somebody coming and they could be like at the guest house or something like that or over at the guest house. I was like, <laughs> guest house. I just reviewed that, what, 12 hours ago? But the film itself does have a little bit of tragedy, a little, not like a tragedy, like a sad event. It, you watch these people grow and then you watch them crumble. Not the relationship, but I mean everything around them starts crumbling when shit comes out and stuff hits the fan. Uh, let uh, Mia's father begins to find out that she she's bisexual or a dyke. They use the word dyke a lot in this film, so yeah. What you'll take away from this movie is the fact that if you have a daughter or a son, whatever, you'll take away the fact that. Not only are you sacrificing your grandkids, uh, probably, uh, yeah, just mainly grandkids and whatever else comes with it, you just have to learn to love them for who they are, okay, it doesn't matter. Now, if my son and daughter actually told me that, yeah, I would be hurt. But for their sake of happiness, I would have to be. I would have to live with it. I have to help. I would have to be happy for him, him or her, for what the decision they choose. Okay, because 
life is already short as this, so you just can't be mad at somebody for doing something else, you know what I'm saying? That's what you take away from this movie. <clears throat> and I love that shit. I love stories like this. And I bet you people are like, well, this is your second lesbian film you're reviewing. Yes, and it probably won't be the last, because um, it seems like the best stories are coming out of the lesbian ones. And yes, I know there's a certain movie about two gay out cowboys I'll probably have to eventually review down the line since it did came out in the 2000s and you know it involved uh, the Joker and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal yeah I, uh, I don't want to watch that right now because I watched 30 minutes of it a few years ago <sighs> not right now <laughs> no but I love that very first scene where they finally do it and if you've seen The Dark Knight Rises, where you know where Batman and Bane, Bane first fight, it's like, j no music is playing, it's just quiet. You hear every punch, every growl, 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 all that shit. Okay? The very first time they do it, it's quiet. You hear every fucking thing. Okay? It's awesome. Well, that... Well, yeah, that scene is awesome, because you got tits just rubbing against each other and shit. That's awesome. But... The fact the way it was shot that way was great. I mean, they do it again later, uh, but it wasn't as intense as this first one, you know, because, yeah. And then you find something else out about Mia that you never expected to, to hear from her before, which was good. And it was like, I knew you were bullshitting. And I'm not just talking, I, and I mean that in a good way. I don't mean that like a bad way. And when you find that out, you're like, okay, this is what I'm talking about. And yes, since this film is, I gave uh, the, gla the Glass House, the Guest House, a B. Kiss Me with Every Heartbeat, or Kiss Me, whatever you want to call this movie, gets an A. It was just well-rounded, well-acted. Can't wait to get both of these on DVD or Blu-ray, whatever they're coming out on. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about with Every Heartbeat, Kiss Me, or Kiss Me. Have you seen it? And, yeah, let me know down below. I'll see you guys later. Gotta get ready to go see the heat. And right now it is hot, so, yeah. Later.